based on this model. The timeless design has attracted customers all over the world for nearly 30 years. When production halted in 1993, 2.8 million 240 series cars had been built. During the 1970s, Volvo also started building cars in Holland. In 1976, the Volvo 343 was introduced, which in time became a really popular model. During this period, Volvo also invested major resources in environmental operations. Volvo was first in the world with the catalytic converter and the Lambda Sonde. The exhaust emissions from these cars were so low that the American test team didn't believe the results. But everything was correct and the Volvo 240 was voted the cleanest car sold in America. It is still the case that the catalytic converter is one of the most important components in the process of exhaust cleaning in all modern cars. In the 80s, when the majority of motor manufacturers in the world concentrated on a rounder design form, the Volvo Car Corporation chose to go its own way. Both the Volvo 760 and the 740 created a great deal of attention and interest, and once again, it was time to break new sales records. A major part of this success was almost certainly due to its superb load capability. For Volvo, this was a turning point after many difficult years. We built a car that's a step above the rest. It's a real humdinger, yeah, we put it to the test. Got the looks and the feel. Got the power for a load. And we put it all together. Yeah, we put it on the road. And don't you know we're gonna get you? At the beginning of the 1990s, the Volvo Car Corporation presented its largest industrial project ever, the Volvo 850. The world-famous Volvo qualities, safety, reliability, function, and environmental care were all packed into a new dynamic design that slowly but surely would transform the image of Volvo during the remainder of the 1990s. The Volvo 850 received glowing praise when it was presented to the press in 1991. This model has also won more awards and prizes than any of Volvo's other cars. In Italy, it was voted the world's most beautiful estate car. A great deal of the basic architecture from the 850 project, including the space-saving transverse engine, lives on in Volvo's new models. From having principally sold cars from a safety and quality perspective over the years, Volvo cars have, in recent years, also become increasingly exciting both technically and in their design. The driving experience and characteristics have also been given greater priority during the development of the more recent models. Today, Volvo design their cars completely digitally, which enables designers and engineers to work much more rapidly to a higher level of quality. Nowadays, it's not only possible to design a car in a computer, it's also possible to carry out crash tests before a single prototype is built. And the developments continue. Both the cars and the people who drive them will change in the future. As one way of sounding out the reaction of tomorrow's customers and at the same time test new technologies, Volvo has built a number of conceptual cars in recent years. Here, the innovations of tomorrow can be tested with a view to developing even better, safer and more environment-friendly motor cars. Developments to satisfy the changing demands of tomorrow's motorists. Volvo will continue to be a driving force in this development.